In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to set up mega scans for Houdini. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Nelson Lim and I'm a digital artist and technologist with over a decade of experience in the visual effects and animation industry. Some of the films I've worked on include um, Pacific Rim and uh, Warcraft and Transformers. So if you're new to this channel, in this channel, I help CG VFX artists level up their skills and mindset so that they can create more, earn more and live more. So if you like what this channel is about, please remember to hit the subscribe button as well as hit that bell so that you get notifications whenever I produce new content. What is Megascans? Megascans is a library of assets that was created by a company called Quixel. And Quixel, the team has basically gone all over the world and looked at various kinds of items and objects in the real world and taken a ton of photographs of them and basically using photogametry have reproduced them as 3D assets with different levels of details, um, cleaning up the textures, making it easy for artists like us to be able to access huge collections of different objects and assets. So you basically have almost any asset that you want to create an infinite number of worlds from the Mega Scans library. And they also include textures that you can use as well. They come already pre-configured for a number of renderers uh, such as Redshift and um, Mantra for Houdini in this case. And in Unreal Engine, it also comes pre-configured with Unreal Engine materials. Now, I also want to highlight that if you're using this for Unreal Engine, every single asset in Megascans is free if you're using it in Unreal Engine. Before we can make use of Megascans, we have to download the Bridge software. Now, Bridge is a desktop application that is going to allow you to browse through the Megascans asset library and easily bring it into your DCC content application via a plugin. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, it should activate the Bridge application, which should look just like this. From here, you are able to go in and browse the many different assets. Once you click on any of these free assets, you would immediately see that there is a sign in button. Now, this is where we talk about Quixel as a subscription service. For most people who are trying to use this for Houdini, for personal work, for maybe portfolio work, as long as your revenue is 100,000 a year, then you could use the personal subscription, which is $19 a month for access to up to 22 3D models. And I think it should be sufficient for most. If you're a student enrolled in a school or if you're a faculty member, you have access to the Megascans educational program. Once you have signed in, which I already have, you can come to this gear icon over here and go to export settings and you can download the Houdini plugin. Alternatively, you can also do the same under manage plugins and you can download the Houdini plugin over here, which as up to date version 4.5 is going to support Houdini 18.5. Download that plugin and it should now install. Next, click any of the assets that you want to use. Choose the texture resolution, click download. I like to set is to go into the gear settings and go to download settings and under the models tab, I like to ensure that I have the high poly source downloaded as well. I'm gonna to go to the broken stump and I'm just gonna choose the 2K texture and come here under the export settings, go to models and you can choose what LODs you want to export into Houdini. Hit back and before you hit export and in this case 2K textures, before you hit export, Make sure you start Houdini first. You want to make sure that you have Megascans now appearing as a plugin on your menu and click on the plugin. 
this will open up the plugin menu where you are able to now choose different settings. In this case, Mantra for us. I'm going to enable LOD. So if you export more than one LOD, it's going to bring in multiple LODs. Go back to Bridge now and we are ready to export. Click on the export button and it should say export it successfully to Houdini. Let's go back to Houdini right now and take a look. Now with that in place, let's attempt to do a quick render. We're going to put down in simple environment light. I just control click environment light, environment map tab. And let's use some of the default HDRIs that Houdini comes with. I'm going to select HDRI Haven Renault, hit accept, and you should start seeing your HDRI. So this is kind of an overcast HDRI, which is great for our purposes at this moment. Under render, create a mantra PVR render, create a camera. And with this camera, we're just going to lock our camera view right over here. Zoom a little bit closer in, uncheck this. Let's go to our render view and hit render. The render is pretty much done uh, with load zero and it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna snapshot this, come in here and let's switch it out to the high poly source. All right, with the high poly source, it also renders pretty quickly. But one of the things you have to be really careful of is it's going to take a lot more memory. Moving back and forth, you can see the difference that the high poly source geometry does give you much better looking displacement. There might be instances where you want to use the high poly source geometry, or alternatively, you can take the high poly source geometry and create your own baked displacement textures that you try to apply onto this load zero geometry, or maybe even create your own load zero. But I'm actually pretty happy with where this load zero is looking right now. All right, so that's our quick overview of how to get mega scans working in Houdini. Are you currently using mega scans in your workflow? If you are, leave a quick comment below and let me know how you are making use of it. If you are not, I highly encourage you to check it out, especially if you are an environment artist or you are trying to create environments really quickly, say as a VFX artist, wanting to create and focus on the effects simulation elements of things, but not wanting to model and texture uh, all of the things in your scene. The use of something like a Megascans asset library is actually a quick win for you. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.